What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am 51 repeats into Everest number 14 for the year. Nine more repeats to go. I'm on a climb called the Wall TT, just out of Bagnoles. Just over one kilometer in length, 12% average gradient. My legs are burning. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you about the equipment I don't leave home without for each of my Everest things. I am preparing for Everest number 15. I'm going through my pack list, which I feel like I have perfected over the last three or four months. And I wanna show you guys what I take to every single Everest without fail. I break my things down into three important bags. Here's what it looks like. Bag number one. So guys, in this first bag, you will see I have a range of different nutrition products. I've got three different carbohydrate drink mixes. At the moment, I'm buying all of my nutrition goodies from Decathlon. They're cheap and they work bloody well. Three different flavors. I have raspberry, I have lemon flavored, and I have orange flavor. Flavor fatigue is real. And so during the day, I like to mix it up. If we then look at the more foodie style nutrition products, I have gels, I have jelly tubes, and I have oat style bars. Again, from Decathlon, a big box full of these goodies. I will probably eat all of that in one Everest because carbs are king. Four 950 mil biddens because I like to drink and I like to have a rich mix of carbohydrate with me at all times. I take these biddens full of water before I go. So there's four liters of water. Plus I'll take another Village Rao bottle, five liter bottle with me. So it gives me nine meter liters of water. This is my nutrition bag. I've used this same spread of goodies all year and it works really well. That being said, the good folk from Windforce have sent me a range of different products to try. I'm not gonna use these on my next Everest because I never like to experiment with new foods on an endurance style event like this, but I will be giving this a go during the next week of training and I'll report back in with what my thoughts are, how it works, how it compares to the decathlon goodies and keep you guys posted as to how the flavors tickle my tongue. Bag numero dos. Normal food products. I've laid this out very badly, but as you guys can see, my normal food products are broken simply down into one very small bag. Let's have a little look at it. The Haribo mix. The Haribo mix gets me through the tough times as we reach the end of the day. I have Pringles. Pringles are amazing for a little salt fix, as are the Doritos. Cravings of mine and cravings that are always satisfied by tucking into the these salty treats. First thing in the morning, I get stuck into a coffee. Continente, Portuguese brand, has my back. No sponsor there. We have a cup to put coffee inside. Some yo soy, rice, and walnut milk. It doesn't go off in the fridge, and it tastes pretty damn good. How do I keep my coffee warm? I have a little thermo. So this is filled with hot water at the beginning of the day, and I use that for coffee and for my mid-afternoon snack of saucy teriyaki noodles. Three banger there because carbs are king. What do I eat it with? I eat it with a fork and a spoon. Finally, in this little bag, I'm gonna include my camera. This is what I capture a lot of the moments with. Yes, it is a little bit banged up, but it does the job. otherwise known as the suitcase. The final bag, bag slash suitcase number three, the Australian Tourista. Clothing and equipment, let's go. Specialized airy shoes, BBB Maestro helmet, full view glasses with photochromic lens. Wahoo heart rate strap. All of my clothing is from Velocio. Summer socks, merino winter socks, wet weather booties, gloves, rain cap, base layer, wet weather jacket, lightweight jacket, two jerseys, merino jersey, 
summer zipperless jersey. I'll start with the merino jersey if it's cold and I'll transfer to the zipperless jersey when it warms up. Arm warmers, leg warmers, lightweight vest, two pairs of Lux bib shorts just in case you happen to encounter the worst. Nothing more needs to be said there. Specialized Roubaix ties and sealant, just in case I happen to slash my current ties. 12 speed chain and quick link, chain repair tools, two 2032 batteries, two tubes, headphones, my famous glute activation band, and two towels to douse down the sweaty body that is me. That is everything I take in bag slash suitcase number three. One thing I have missed is the floor pump. Obviously, I take a bike with me to an Everesting as well, but this week I'm not showing you my bike. This week I am riding something different, and that is going to be the video for next week. There you have it. Everything I take to an Everesting event, everything you need to take to your next Everesting event. While I've got your attention, I'm not doing this for fun. I do enjoy it, but there is an important cause behind this year's challenge. I'm looking to raise a million euro for four mental health charities. I've linked down below how you can help me, and I would love if you could get behind the overall project goal. I think we can change the lives of thousands of people around the world. It will only take two minutes of your time and a few precious dollars. Very much thank you in advance, and I look forward to seeing you guys and telling you a little bit about my new bike next week. Adios.